Beginning with the urgent search for the missing in that terrifying ferry disaster off South Korea. Hundreds on board, among them so many school children. Tonight, the U.S. Navy is there and the haunting images now streaming in. Rescuers in the water today were just part of that ship can be seen above water. There were no more rescues. And at nightfall, the ship just barely piercing the water right there. The families gathering on blankets waiting for word and this evening the reality of it all just now settling in. Also new tonight, the captain, what he's now saying after we learned he was one of the first off of that ferry. ABC Gloria Riviera leads us off tonight with new pictures taken on board just as the horror began to unfold. New images tonight of a world turned on its side. The critical moments after the ferry boat shifted violently. Watch as survivors cling to anything they can. In this passageway, the floor now the side of the boat. Other passengers huddled inside wearing life jackets. Today we learned the captain abandoned ship a half hour after sending out a distress call. This morning, hiding his face from reporters, he apologized, <laughs> saying, I am sorry and deeply ashamed. Tonight he is under criminal investigation, questioned by police amid growing outrage. Families of the 276 missing are holding out hope that perhaps their loved ones are still alive. Trapped in air pockets in the sunken ship, rescuers have even tried to pipe oxygen into the boat. So far, those efforts have been unsuccessful. The official death toll has now climbed to 25. The doomed ferry was carrying almost 500 passengers, most high school students on a class trip, when the boat began to tilt. At 8.58, the distress call went out. Passengers were told to put on life jackets and stay inside. In this video, an overhead announcement saying it is safer in the passenger quarters. Because of those announcements, so many people became trapped inside. At 927, one worried student texts his mother, unsure if he will see her again. I love you, he writes. Three minutes later, the captain makes his escape in a lifeboat, one of the first off the ship. On board, a frantic battle for survival and real life heroes. An extraordinary act of sacrifice from this young man who didn't make it off that ship. His mother hearing of his final act of generosity. His friend was crying, she says, so I heard my son gave him his life jacket. David, it is just past first light on day three. The U.S. Navy is involved here, but there are some key elements affecting everyone. The bad weather making it so tough to see above and below the water. Rescue divers have had to be rescued themselves with every moment so critical.